Hi everyone. Once again, I thought I'd do another video. This is always one of these common things um, that um, people call me with um, all the time when they're starting to have a little bit of computer problems and they don't really know what's wrong and I'll ask them, when was the last time you did a disk cleanup? Well, they have no idea what I'm talking about. Or I'll say, when was the last time you did a scan disk or defrag? And, of course, they think I'm speaking in another language. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to show you very, very, um, you know, carefully and thoroughly how we do a disk cleanup and a scan disk and a defrag. Um, this will fix so many problems. So many problems. Uh, okay, one thing uh, that we're going to start with, if you have anything in your recycle bin, right click, empty recycle bin, Yes, okay, get rid of that right now. Okay, then you go to My Computer, which a lot of people, if you click Start down here, if you do not have the shortcut on your computer, click Start, okay, then Computer, see where I'm at? And then you'll come up to your hard drive and, of course, you know, all your removable drives, which right here is your C drive. You double click on your C drive or your hard drive, make sure that's the right one that we're going to play with, okay? And obviously it is, so here we are, the C drive. Now, if you right click on your C drive, and I'm a little slow right now because I've got the camera going and I've got some other things going in the background. Uh, okay, you right click and you go down to properties, okay? And this will bring up a little pie chart that will help you with your disk cleanup. The first thing that you want to do is click right this button right here, see it? Disk Cleanup. Now this will bring up this file here. Now we I only have the one user on the computer and then it's my name. If you have more than one user, like say your children is one user and they have a different login, your husband's another one, your wife's another one, you know of course you want to do fo uh, files from all users on this computer. But we're going to do My Files Only, okay? And it's open the window right behind me and it's calculating how much space that is going to be needed and this is going to take a few minutes to do this so uh, I may just pause this video for the sake of time so I know I won't run out of time while this does that. So let's pause recording right now. We'll come right back in just a minute. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Now uh, this window popped right up after um, what I've done and what we're going to do you see we have downloaded program files, temporary internet files, recycle bin, thumbnails per uh, the archive users error report okay yeah we want it to clean up so we're going to click OK it says are you sure you want to permanently delete these files yes we do now once again well this shouldn't take me too long because I just did this the other day and so this is going to go right on through now, you're not quite done yet, okay? Another thing that I do, because although it deleted the temporary internet files, it did not delete your history of cookies. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on Start. Let me minimize this here again. You're going to click on Start. You're going to go to Control Panel right here, okay? Once again, I'm a little slow because this camera is going. Now, here's my Control Panel. And what we're going to do, we're going to go down to Internet. Um, i go up to Internet. Right here, Internet Options, okay? And this is always a good thing to do. So I'll put Delete Browser History on Exit. I mean, this Delete Temporary Files, History, Cookies, Saved Passwords, and Web Form Information. And yes, now here's some good things that may help you, you know, while we're in here. Search, change search, uh, it's change search default. You can do your settings here and do different things with it if you wanted to. Uh, let's see, tabs you can change here. Of course, you have your security, the privacy, you know, what you do, what you want, what you don't want to do, how high you want to set your that content, uh, your autocomplete. You can do your settings here, the feeds. Connections, which uh, I don't have to worry about that. Programs, which uh, Internet Explorer is my default. 
uh, manage add-ons, etc., as well as advanced. Okay, so let's go back to your general tab. This is under general. And what we're going to do right here under browsing history, we're going to, well, let's go to settings first, okay, which you can look. Uh, now, right here, I don't like this. I'm, I'm glad I went in here. This space, I've got it actually on 50, which, yeah, I've recommended it was really 50 to 250. Keep it around 50. Otherwise, it is going to end up taking a lot more space on your hard drive. So I always keep it at 50. Then I go, I delete it like every day or every other day. Your history, days to keep pages in history, I only have one. Believe me, that's more than enough, okay? Well, click OK. Now what we're going to do, browsing history, we're going to just delete, okay? And then I put in all the check marks, temporary internet files, cookies, histories, form data, in private filtering, and click delete. Okay? Now you'll see right here, please wait while browsing history is deleted. You can go ahead and close this window out while that is doing that. And while that is doing that, let me walk you through. Now I'm not going to do a scan disk and a deep frag right at this moment, but I will show you how to do one. Okay? Here, you, what you will do. You click on Tools in the same window. Well, let's go ahead and start from the beginning so you know where we're going. Click on Start. Click on My Computer. Your hard drive. Right click. Go down to Properties. Okay. You're back to this window with the pie chart. Now, what, as you see, my temporary internet files and histories just got deleted. Now, this is where we did the disk cleanup, right? Well, you had different tools. You have Tools, Hardware, Sharing, security and quota. You're going to click on the tools tab, okay? Now to do a scan disk, a scan disk is error checking. What you'll do is you click check now. I'm not going to click it. I'm just going to point here beside it because like I said, I just did one and it does take time. And it will tell you that there needs to be some resources free that it will do it on the next reboot and it'll say ask you if you want to schedule it. Click yes, all right? Once you click yes, it'll come up with two a little another little window, and it will ask uh, two questions. There'll be two check marks to put. Like, do you want it to go ahead and fix errors? Yes, you do. Check both of those check marks. Okay. Then you reboot your computer, and it will start doing the scan disk right then. Now, what I tell everybody: do your scan disk or your error checking first before you do the defrag. Now, what the defrag does, it organizes your computer. Like if I threw a hundred sheets of paper up in the air and they all come down, they were numbered one to a hundred, they all come down, of course none of them's going to fall from the order of one to a hundred, okay? So what it does, it takes those files and it puts them nice and orderly back where it needs to be. So if you click defrag now, okay, another window will come up right here. Click continue. I always do the scan disk first, okay? And then defrag now. Now you can run it uh, on a schedule, uh, which mine right here, you can actually um, run it at 1 a.m. every Wednesday. I don't do that. I mean, it's on there, but my computer's never on at 1 a.m. Okay, I'm always in bed. So a lot of times I will pick a morning that I can do housework or whatever. You click defrag now. Now you can select all your disks or you can select one, okay? Like if I wanted to just do my hard drive. Click OK. All right, here it goes. Defragmenting hard disk C. Okay, so I can close it. Or what I can do is even min I can minimize it or I can cancel it and just close it out. Okay, so that's how you clean up your computer. Um, quick, easy, not very hard to do. I do recommend that people do it at least once a week. If you're on here a whole lot, I do it once a week. Now, sometimes I get busy and I do it maybe once a month. So that's how you do a disk cleanup. It is very easy. Anybody can do it. It just takes time. And uh, you can have these things run when you're doing something else. One thing to remember, when you do a scan disk and when you reboot it, count for about an hour downtime. So, you know, have something playing like cleaning the house. Don't do it when somebody needs to use the computer because it will take time once you reboot it. Okay, so I believe that's it. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.